Now at 6, Crave Restaurant is now closed. We first told you about the shutdown at Midtown Crossing last night. And today, confirmation. It's the latest in a history of tenant trouble near 33rd and Farnham. A statement from the company that manages Crave says stations. there are no plans to move the restaurant. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Some say the closure is a sign of the times as more millennials are moving into urban areas and families are heading to other neighborhoods. 3 News Now reporter Nick Starling spoke to people with high hopes for the area. This sign says it all. Crave is now closed, shocking many customers coming to these doors. But is this a sign of things to come here in Midtown Crossing? Officials say no. It's just the beginning of a new chapter. Renee Holder walks her dogs outside her apartment complex at Midtown Crossing. We had been coming down here for years and just love um, the walkability and just the restaurants and just just the whole feel of the place. But one of the restaurants she typically walks by is now closed. I heard it just first from you. I'm I'm shocked. I thought they were doing very well. It's the latest in a handful of other closings here in Midtown Crossing. Vice President of Communications Molly Scold says it's the nature of the business. You know, retailers come and go a lot too closed in Benson. I mean, retailers, restaurants close in Village Point. Crave had been in Midtown Crossing since day one, but Scold says people's habits are shifting. People who live and play and work in this urban core is really changing. We have a lot more millennials, and so we are excited for the next chapter of Midtown Crossing. One of those millennials is Madeline Swanson, who is playing checkers with her sisters. She notices the age difference. And if you look around Midtown, it's like for business people, it's for older people, it's people with families, and so it's harder to keep the same businesses when there's so many places in Omaha to go. Swanson points out one difference other areas have that attract her generation. I would guess lack of bars. If, you talk, if you're looking at like Blackstone and Benson, those are like mostly for like y younger people in Omaha to go and hang out. However, others prefer a calmer atmosphere. I want to live where it's quiet. <laughs> but I think we are evolving and we are uh, meeting the demands of who Midtown is. Scold says they already have interest in this Crave property and soon they'll have announcements on two other retailers coming to Midtown Crossing. Reporting in Omaha, Nick Starling. 3 News Now.